Welcome, welcome to Chesby TV, episode 450! Yes, yes, I've survived this long. It's a new personal record for me, by the way. Today, we are not going to play chess or chess variant. We're going to play a completely different board game, one that I really, really love. And I actually have one of my best friends on the stream here with me to play it with me. So this is going to be a very fun episode. We're going to go over the rules. Very, 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 very simple. Much easier, by the way, than chess, because the knight... And the way it jumps is so confusing. So nothing like that in this board game. It's called Tuck, unless it's called Tack. It's T-A-K. Let's go take a look at it and bring in our special guest, Calvin. That's not what I want to do. So let's click this button. Now, can you hear us, Calvin? Hey, how are you? Oh, wow. And I can hear you as well. Now let's click a button and bring you on the stream. Um, where's my button for that? Oh, I can change the view with this button. Fantastic. All right. Now everybody can see you, except you're kind of sliced up. This is typical, typical show. Uh, difficulties. Very, very normal, by the way, to have everything go wrong. Uh -huh. But actually, this is looking pretty good. So we can be good. It's chessboard here, but it's not chess. It's tuck. So in this oh, game, nice. there's two players. Is Do I have that right, Calvin? Yes, two players. So yeah. tell us a little bit about the goal of this game. What do you do to win this game? To win this game, you want to connect from one side to the other uh, using your pieces. Using so your not pieces? Yeah, not necessarily a straight line, but uh, just to be able to cross, and it could be either side, either side. Okay, so board. a path, like I could start here on A2, a and then go like yeah. B2, B3, B4, and then across C4, D4, E4 to complete the path. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get started. I'll just throw a piece on here, D2. Now, the game's a little bit more complex than that because I just made a move for you. The right. starting player plays the other guy's piece just to get the game going. Is that right? That is right. So I will be playing uh, one of your pieces to B4. Okay, for, perfect, and now I'm white. So the basic move here in the game is to just pick up a piece and put it on the board. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and it has to go on an empty space. However, there's a little bit more to the game than that. You can also stack up pieces. You can. Okay. Uh, so let me do that right here. I'm going to grab a piece yeah. and put it next to you on C2, and let's do some stacking. I plan to stack on top of you if you don't stack on top of me, so fair warning here. I know. Now okay, I see your, your play on C1. So now, instead of adding a piece, I can pick up any of my pieces here. I'll pick up my piece here on C2 and put it on top of yours. Now, I'm moving a whole stack of one, so I can just move one space. And now I'm winning, obviously, because you're squished underneath. <laughs> so you've added another piece. So actually, I like, I like this diagonal. Now, you don't have to just connect side to side. You can also win connecting... Uh, front to back, like from C1, C2, C3, C4, all the way down to C5. So I feel like I'm about to win here. Let's see if I can form a killer diagonal. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't want to. Oh, the, I can turn the piece as well. Tell me about this shape. What if I put on a wall here? What does that do? Oh, boy. Uh, a wall uh, blocks. So as opposed to... Uh, last time, when you were able to jump onto my piece, kind of like that. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, see, you've just jumped on top of me right here. I just don't jump on top of you. Uh, I cannot jump on top of your wall piece. Um, however, the wall piece does not count to the path, the win condition. What? So it's, yeah. it's like doesn't count as a really very useful for me. It's just like a wall, if you know what I mean. Now, can I move this wall? Can I stack it on top of your, your piece on E3 there? Uh. No. Okay, I'm not putting on any more walls. That was stupid. Let's just work on my diagonal. I'll deal with the problem on D2 later. It's annoying me right now. One thing I'm noticing, though, is that stack is three tall. So how's that, gonna, how's that gonna unwind? I can pick up the whole stack. I'm trying to wonder if this is a good idea, though. No, um, don't do it, don't do it. Just add more yeah. pieces. I'm gonna play on B3, and then I'm gonna overwhelm your B2 piece, because I feel like having a whole bunch of pieces in one area Oh, yeah. you're going to make a line, though. Maybe. Should I be worried about that? I'm going to go this direction. Ooh, okay. Actually, isn't this board entirely symmetrical, nearly? Yeah, it's almost exactly. Look, I can turn the board. It's almost exactly <laughs> symmetrical along that diagonal. So, so much for thinking I'm smart here. Mm, yeah. That's a delicious-looking chocolate sandwich if we've built, though. Okay, so oh, I'm going to yeah. cover up your piece. There. Now I feel powerful again. Okay, this is good. Interesting how we've played on all the red squares so far. Uh, oh, okay, you moved the stack. So let's see what you did. You picked up the three. Yes, I should have said, yeah. So I and, picked up the three. Yeah. I moved one, and I was able to drop the lower 
flat piece. Just the bottom one onto just the bottom one. D3. Onto D3. And then I moved my uh, remaining two pieces, which was your white and then my black, onto D4 and dropped both of them. Boy, that's not great for me. Can I move my wall? Do you want to try? <laughs> uh, oh, I can move my wall. That's fantastic. So I could, like, put it on top of your piece. That looks kind of fun. I'm going to do that. Ha, 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 ha. I've smashed you. Mm. Okay, so is this all locked down now, or what's going to happen? I guess it um, can't move, I guess. I can move the wall again, maybe. Is that right? What are you I'm doing? Moving. The entire stack just moved again? Yeah. And I'm sandwiched underneath. I get the idea you should not try to be underneath the opponent. Doesn't look great. Right. I'm going to put on... Now. I'm going to put on my giant uh, capstone thing, this weird stack of pennies. So let's see how that goes. What if I put it um, here? So what does the capstone do? Why is yeah. it different? What does a capstone do? <laughs> can I move it on top of you? That would be fantastic. You can. Does it count as a completed path across the board? It counts as the path. It does. Fantastic. I only want to use capstones from now on. That sounds way better. It's only one, unfortunately. You only get one. That's the one downside. One. Okay, um, so I'm trying to build a connection here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are just overwhelming me in this area. The bottom, where I, where my top. Across the area. four area. That's why I'm playing here on A4 because I see a right. connection you're making. Oh, you well, know, I could just use walls. Nice about the capstone is it is the only piece that can crush walls. You just flattened my wall. I did. You're gonna pay for that. That'll be three fifty. What should I say? Tree fifty. Let's see what I got here. I've just played on top of you, so I can rescue all my pieces. That's my plan. Let's see if that's gonna work. It's your turn, right? Yeah. Sorry. No problem. Take your time. I'm feeling good about this. Okay. So you've just covered me up. So can I make a like a right angle with my with my stack? You cannot, so you have to go a straight line. Okay, so I'm picking up the whole stack. I'm putting one piece where I was, because I want to stay that color. Then I'm putting one piece there, and then I'll just put one piece there, and then I'll put you there, so I can unload any number as I'm moving across the board, <laughs> and I have just covered the board with my color. Fantastic. And you're underneath there, if I can see under there. Yeah, your pieces are under mine. That's fantastic. Okay, so I'm about to win, right? If I play on A4, I make a connection. Yeah. Uh, I'll still play on A4. You still playing on A4? I think so. No. No, I'll stop. I'll put, I'll put a wall. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know what to do. I know. I don't know what to do either. I'm going to try to be a little bit more centralized. I mean, I have an overwhelming power in the A5 corner here. I've got right. three pieces there. You have none. So I don't really need to add more power to that area. I need to control the rest of the board. That's my theory. So can your capstone now, like, jump across the... Oh, like that in one move? It can. So you've picked up your stack. You put one in the original spot. You put two in the next spot over. Yeah. And then you just covered up everything. So can I put my capstone on top of your capstone? That'd be kind of nice. You cannot. Oh, okay. Okay, so the board's kind of filling up here. Hmm. It's kind of tough to see what's under my... Oh, I can kind of move. You can kind of turn the board? Yeah. See what's under there? Oh. Very interesting. So for those of you just joining, this is the game Tuck. The goal is to connect with your color on top of each stack across the board like across the third rank or across the letter c either direction and you just covered up my man i feel extremely covered up here and Let's i can see, never yeah. rescue those pieces i can't get your capstone off of there is that right right i can only move a stack of uh the width of the board so five high um so if it gets hmm. so if you try to pick up like six a stack of six you can only take five of them from there Yeah. You're just going to eat my entire army? I go back and forth and you cover. Is this a good idea for me? If you just... If I just play inside here, 
D4, and then you cover that, and then D3, D4, <laughs> D4. And I just run out of pieces underneath yours. <laughs> yeah, that's a good strategy. Is that good for me? It seems good. Like, I think when the pieces are out, it's most on top, correct? Or what's the condition? Oh, yeah, yeah. So if we run out of pieces, half. whoever yeah. has the most flat stones on top is the winner. Right. I feel like you I... have a lot. I feel like you are just doing really... Oh, I'm getting an idea. I can just run here along the A. Don't tell Calvin, but if I just run here, one, two, three, four, five. Would you stop that? <laughs> Eventually, you're going to have to stop just covering my pieces, right? Maybe. If I make a giant stack, like 10 tall of whites covered by your black, then I put my capstone on it, and then I can rescue them. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you're overwhelmed now. You're leaning in. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can see my video. Come here. <laughs> the more I lean in, the more I think. <laughs> I know. I can tell how uh, difficult this position is for you based on the angle yeah. of your body. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just about to win now. Let's see. Um, boy, you got a lot of pieces in that I'm area. I'm just about to win now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going for a line along the B file. If I were to play here on B1, I would complete my victory. Right. Let's see. Okay, no problem. I'll just cover you up there. Playing on top of each other. So close. If you would please just pass right now, I don't know if that's a legal move, but that would be really fantastic. How many are are under that thing. There's two under there? Okay. So if I put my capstone on top, would that be super clever? Maybe. Let's try... Man, this is obnoxious. Um, nah, how do I undo clicking on that thing? I picked up a piece and now I don't want to yeah. put it... <laughs> I think you can put it back down in the original spot and it'll be like... Oh, yeah. clever. Okay, I'm moving my capstone up onto, onto that stack. Mm, okay. I just feel like I'm dominating an entire tower of virtual wood. First time I've said that in my lifetime, I think. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, yeah. Calm. Building. Okay, I'm about to win again. This is fantastic. I, you, I'm unstoppable now. You have to pass, right? Or win. Game over. Zero. Your opponent wins by making a road? No. Oh, because you had... Oh, oh. let me take a I look had... at the position before that move. Yeah, so you have this sorry. big stack, I and did. you just unleashed it. You just pick up the stack. It. You left black there, black there, and then you put the rest... Did. Oh, wow. So I need to make sure my capstone is blocking your capstone. More it kind of was. Um, I so moved it. I set uh, myself up by putting uh placing a stone at e3 um that was kind of the setup oh that move right there because then then your road will be finished yeah i was playing on friendly rules i did <laughs> not say tack when i was close to you're supposed to say check when you're checking my king you're not supposed to just take it suddenly right right man okay so then my move my move was just to play underneath where you were going to walk and you just covered it so i could have put a wall uh, that wouldn't have been great though, because capstones can smash walls, but only if they're like not, if there aren't other pieces underneath them. I want to play you again though, because I like winning, and we did not have that outcome. That's true. That's true. I so, remember when we played, we didn't use walls too much, and I noticed this first game. Yeah, we just had that one. No walls. So what if I use only walls this game? It'll all be <laughs> unstoppable, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I think so. Are you setting up the new game? Yeah, I think I already clicked new game. Tell me what happened. Oh, perfect. I am looking at it right now. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so let's see. I'm the starting player, and I'll start with you. I'm putting you in the corner because in chess, corners are really bad. Hopefully, they're bad here. I'm just following suit. Following suit. We're both going diamonds. I am going to play in the middle. I am the white player here. We've now played each other's pieces. What do you think about walls? Are they a good strat? Notice we never used them. Um, man, let's... Well, you know... uh. Let's let's we use a little more walls this time and see. I think only walls. I think hundred percent walls is the secret to victory. 
Well, we've already lost that percentage, so let's shoot for a 90% wall strategy. Okay, I'm winning right now. Look how I have like more on the board. This is great. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to cover you. Yes, yes. What? And now, the wall. So once you've put a wall on, you can't yes. set it down. You, I mean, it's just it's just vertical, right? You can't unwall it. I'm sure um, you can get it crushed, and then it's flat again. Um, I wonder if you can crush your own. You can crush your own. I was reading the rules because I'm a weird guy like that, and you can crush your own wall with the capstone. I'm thinking it's about time for capstones, though. Oh. Let's You're put, tipping your hat. You're I'm putting my capstone in the middle, the best place for every capstone. Wow. Um, I think I read that in The Art of War by Sun Tzu. The best place for every capstone is in the middle. Is in the middle. Well, I'll put it in the middle on the bottom. It's slightly below what yours. Okay, and now I'm about to win because these paths that we're trying to build can have bends in them. Oh, that's right. So if you put D1... Or E4. D1, that's kind of not... <laughs> oh, sorry, D, D5. D4. Yes, D5 or E4. I'm good to go. What? So there's a capstone here. can do nothing about it. That's disappoint. Um, let's cover you there. Ooh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for you to stack on top of that. Yeah, I know. And then I'm going to put my capstone on there. Because last game, you kind of won by dominating the entire stack with one capstone. I mean, it gives you a lot of flexibility on where to put that stack. Man, it really does. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Actually, I'm threatening to win. Now I can win. Let's give you a take back. Oh, yeah. Undo. No, no I'll, I'll... No, no, no. Not do, do a smarter move. I don't like stupid friends. I mean, I don't like my friends to be stupid. I mean, I don't like my friends to do stupid things. I got to soften this so that it's not a personal insult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've covered your entire stack with my, with my uh, whatever this thing is thimble oh now you're in the middle how obnoxious you're leaning way in again your beard is cut off oh no i'm sorry okay so let's see i cannot dislodge your capstone it's illegal no and or you're yes. and you're about to win here along the c file i don't am i well in two moves okay in so it's moves, time yeah. for the legendary wall <sighs> The wall. The wall. You got, got walled, son. I did get walled, so let's see if I can unwall anything here. Oh, um, I guess you can. You can actually hit that with your capstone, but you have to cover your own C tier right, with my which tower. I don't want. You don't. No. That's weird. Okay, so it's time for more walls. I can move my wall. That's not smart. I can add more walls. Yes, add more walls. That is smart. <laughs> See what my capstone can do. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think, and that's good for the brain. I'm starting to think that if I suddenly move my capstone stack, I can really cover a lot of the board. Uh huh. Uh huh. With with my color. You're not threatening to win, are you? No. Perfect. No, not that I know of. Okay. Never tried I'm threatening to win because I could pick up this stack. Right. Leave okay. one white one D3. Leave one white one on D4 covering you. And then whatever on D5 as well. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have told you. Man, you are... Your capstone's in a really good spot. That's what I was thinking about your capstone. I tried not to move there, but it went by accident, and now I'm glad because that was a really good move for me. I am threatening to win. Okay, that works. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't even see your threat. I'm just trying to cover everything with my stuff. Um, well, where's your threat? Uh, it was a was, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm thinking of covering that with my capstone. Does this seem smart? Yes. So pick up everything. Put one of mine there. Uh, should I leave one of yours there as well? Yeah, I'll leave one of yours there. Then leave one of mine there. And then wham, bam. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so what do we got in here? 
One, two, three, four, five. I can only pick up five things actually. So I can't right. rescue my bottom piece. One. So how low are you? So you're one, two, three, four, five. So your bottom piece will stay there though, which is nice for you. No, I think the capstone counts as a piece. Yeah, so I can't pick up. Oh, it does, right. So you would leave mine then. I would right? leave yours, which isn't what I want to do at all. Right. Okay, so you just picked up. Oh, you just smashed all my stuff with your capstone. I can leave one there, one there. Hmm. Well, this calls for going in the middle of the board. Always a good strategy. Yeah, it is. If you had two capstones, I know where you'd put your other one. <laughs> if I had two capstones, yeah, that's a good. I feel like it's time for another wall. You think so? Mm hmm. Of course, I want to just move my capstone and cover the whole board with my pieces. But I can't quite reach A2. Oh, what? Oh. What in the whole world? <laughs> I don't think that's what I want. I thought. Do you want to undo like, that? Did you miss no, no. Yeah, here, that's let me give you an undo because I don't like the way that no. looks. What? No, 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 no. What? You don't want to take it back? That's terrible. Let's leave it. I've already had one take back, I feel. No, you need more take backs. Anything but that move, that's a terrible move, really. So terrible. Because look at all my stuff that's underneath your capstone. It's really bad. Oh, okay. That's a good point. Four or five. You can't rescue yours either, though. Because when you pick up five, it leaves my color on top. Hmm. Okay, so what if... Yeah, that's not effective. I'll just keep adding... Keep adding my stones here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't know if this is normal for a game of talk, but like the entire board is covered in, in <laughs> giant stacks as opposed to actually doing anything with our lives. Are you threatening to win? I don't think so. Good. I think I am. Yes. You are. I you am. are. I'm going to just come al along the two row here. You can win along a row or a column, so there's a lot of threats. I could smash that. But that's, you have to leave your stack. My stock. It's pronounced stock. Oh, that's right. <laughs> your stock. <laughs> your stack. No, it's stack, right? <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Um... Are you making any threats? You know, you really can't win using walls, right? Walls don't participate in, in paths. Paths and walls. Um, no, I don't think so. Great. So put some more walls on. They're terrible. Are they? Yeah, terrible. Meaning powerful, large, frightening. Okay, okay. Are you threatening to win now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Wow, are you threatening to win? I don't know. Something about a line of white pieces seems to be in front of me here. Wow, that's a good threat. Hmm. I think you better add a wall, definitely. Yes, very oh, good move. It, adding walls is very, very good. Strategy. How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> okay. So, what's the next thing you do? Threaten to win, because your paths can have a bend in them, so you better put another wall on. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. I'm starting to become unstoppable here. Did he add a wall? No. Should have added a wall. Okay, I'm covering that, because this is very effective now. I have an entire stack of ice cream here. What? What? No problem. I'll smash that with my capstone. Here we go. Pick up five pieces. Put mm -hmm. one of mine there, and then what should yeah. I do with the next one of mine? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is awful. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to leave something, right? I'm going to have to leave your color. Hopefully. I'm not hoping that. <laughs> right. Put another one of mine there. I'm going for it because I like smashing you. And then I'll leave. <sighs> no. That's really bad. Undo the whole mess. Undo. Whoops, wrong button. I think it's over here. Let's see. Did that undo? My computer's struggling with this three-dimensional rendering. I'm sure yeah. the video's choppy. 
I don't want to don't want to reveal your pieces like that. Your walls are annoying. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure that's interesting to you. Okay. I'm just going to cover you up here. Always nice to be on top, if you know what I mean. I didn't see the move. What did you just do? Oh, A, A4? A4 over to B4. I found two pieces next to each other, so I put mine on top of yours. Hmm. Very good. For those of you just joining, this is the game Talk, T-A-K, and the goal is to connect your pieces side to side or front to back with your color on top. So this is kind of like a game where you try to get on top of the other person, virtually speaking. Although I would want to play the other one. That would, that'd be fun too. It's hard to play. It's hard to play physical get on top on the internet, but it's fun when you figure it out. It's hard to play physical get on top. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see here. Um, hmm. I don't know if I like this situation. Need to add more walls. It's the only solution. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll play on top of that. Very good. We're going to make another gigantic stack of ice cream here. Chocolate and vanilla. What's your pick? Hmm. I don't think you can win. No, not yet, but just, just wait a few more moves here. I'll be unstoppable. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay, so you have now moved your wall. So this calls for my capstone, I think. I pick up my capstone. Uh -huh. I put one there, because I want to be my color. Then one there, because I want to be my color. And then everything here, I don't have to smash a wall anymore. Oh, yeah! You can just move a stack like this. Now I am about to win, by the way. I have a threat. I know, you do have a threat, which is not good. I'll kill your family. That's my threat, by the way. My entire stack is underneath you. I feel like that's the same with you. You have a couple of so... Man, I felt so good, and now all that dopamine is gone. Are you sure? I feel like you're doing well. I feel like you're winning, for sure. Oh. We probably oh. both feel like the other person's winning. Yeah, do you want to switch spots? <laughs> oh, great offer. So let's see how many flats I have face up. I have, whoa, 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 whoa. I have one, two, three, four, five pieces face up. And you have one, two, two. Okay, five to two. So all I have to do is run out of pieces here. And You have fewer pieces. Uh, off the board, sorry. So yeah, so I'm going to start adding walls because I'm ahead in terms of flats. If I run out of pieces to play, which I only have four more here, then whoever has the most flat pieces on top of stacks is the winner. Capstone doesn't count, right? Right. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. And you have one, two. Did you move somewhere? I did. I moved uh, C2. Mm. The notation is kind of crazy. Okay, so this calls for, for covering you up like crazy. I'm going to pick up a stack. I'm going to bring my capstone over there. Ha, 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 ha. Like that. Um, I think that's good. Right. I revealed a flat. So it's now four to one. So I feel like if I could just play the rest of my pieces, I'll win on flats if that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, what have I undo? I've got three stacked up here on B2. Yeah. Not that I can do anything with them. Let's see here. Uh, what did you just do? Help me out here. Oh, I added a D3. You add it on D3. Perfect. I'll add a piece as well. Let's go D5. The timer's running out. Only have three left to play. Hmm. 
Are you threatening something? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Very good. <laughs> I'm covering your C5 piece. Uh -huh. In just two moves, I can now win by feeling B5, D5. I can move the walls too. That would be great, considering how stupid my wall is. Oh, you you moved your wall. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll move my wall over. Maybe that's a bad idea, but still feeling good about this position. It's weird to have so many more pieces on the board. Like you have a stack of eight pieces left to play, nine yeah, pieces. Yeah, you were dropping pieces like crazy, which is, I think, better for sure. Seems like it. I mean, the fact yeah. that I am winning is probably a reflection of the fact <laughs> that all my pieces are on the board. Yours are not. You're right. That's like Czar, when we were playing Czar. Oh, it is similar, yeah. More on the board is good. You know, it's a lot like chess, yeah. too. I love having a bunch of pieces on the board. Yeah. When the opponent doesn't have very many, that's that's it means you're you're winning. It's not my That'd turn, is good... it? I think so. Well, what'd you do? I moved uh, B4 to B5. Oh, your wall is just walking through town here. Um, okay. That'd be a good chess variant. You try to put the pieces down. Is that a thing? You add pieces to the board? Yeah. Hopefully you have the king first. <laughs> yeah, so king people have first. thought that they were clever by by doing like a custom setup where you take turns adding your pieces at the start. Uh, that's oh, that's really? happened before. Oh man, you're threatening to win. Oh man. I am? Mm, I don't see it. Oh no. Your wall is amazing. Walls like that. But I do have a lot of flats. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flats on the board uh, compared to your one, so... I'm pretty much undefeatable at this point. Yeah, this is looking good. Let's see. Unless you consider last game, then I'm then I'm defeatable again. He adds to the center. Just gonna add pieces as well here. Cause two left. Oh, I'm threatening to win on B one. I'll just play on b1 i think because let's be honest i just have to add one more piece i don't think you can get nearly enough flat pieces to prevent a win here <laughs> i can see your eyes glazing over as it's you stare defeat good. in the face how many flats <laughs> do you have three that's an inferior quantity oh you win by having more flats you have more flats good game all right. Okay, so we need to have a tie-break match, don't you think? I believe so. All right, final game here between Calvin and the Wiz. I'm rooting for the Wiz. Who do you want to win? 50-50. Um, I could go either way. 50-50. Good choice. Good choice. Okay, I've created a new game, I think. This website is not quite Leeches in its no. level of features. One of the missing features is, where's my game? <laughs> I think I found it. Okay, so it looks like I get to play it first again. That's fantastic. Uh, I'll just put you in the corner there. We play for each other on our first moves. Put me in. And now I'm white. Fine. Okay. This looks like a great position for me. This does look good. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here. This diagonal stuff feels good. If we ever play near each other, <laughs> then there's a risk of the other guy playing on top of your piece. So let's let's not do that. Don't play near me, okay? Okay, I won't. Okay, good. Oh, I'm threatening to win. <laughs> there are some bad moves available here. Oh, what a wall. That's crazy. Oh, I'm threatening to win. Oh, I'm threatening to win. <laughs> so this is how I win, by the way. All my moves, I've been putting pieces on. And you're moving a wall around, which yeah, is somewhat inferior, perhaps. Huh? <laughs> 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, it looks like I'm threatening to win. Again, in two places now. Is it my turn? Yeah, I, I added on. Oh, what? Wait, what? You moved my piece with your wall. I didn't realize you could do that. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see what happens. If you think it's a good idea to just go back and forth trying to cover me like that. Because I'm starting to think that might be good for me. Yeah, I think you're right. If you were to pick up everything and put it on B2, then I play on B3. You pick up everything and go back to B3. Is that blocking? I think that's blocking. Right? Yes, you have a vast quantity of walls that are extremely blocking. So this calls for the capstone. I'm threatening to win. Yeah, you're putting pieces out. How oh, should I? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm putting all these pieces out. Meanwhile, know. you're walking walls around I'm the board. Walls around <laughs> the board. Jeez, this is not good. I don't know. It's it's pretty good for me, actually. So it just depends who you are. Are you going to win? Is this mm -hmm. I'm actually maybe not threatening this turn. You're going to have to give me about 11 more turns for me to play these pieces here. <gasps> no, I'm threatening. You're no way. You're threatening? I don't see it. Right across four. Oh, across four. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. Okay, so what if I play in four? Oh, that wasn't real smart. But I'm actually really tempted to just do this. <laughs> just keep putting pieces on. Cover me up, dude. It's, it's, it'll be fun. It'll be great. Cover me up. See what happens. Hmm. <laughs> No, it'll be good. It'll be really good. Pick up your whole stack. Oh, whoops. Yep, yep. Cover up my pieces. When you get to five, you might have a problem because you can't pick up six at once. Oh. Oh, maybe you, like, you do that a little bit and then you stop. I don't know. I might be smart. I wish I could win right now. <laughs> That's a good uh, phrase to say anytime, really. Yeah, especially right now. Okay, so we're going to go with wall. Oh, I can't do that, man. I wanted to put, I wanted to cheat and just drop a wall on B4, but apparently it's not allowed. You have to put a wall on an empty space. This could actually be problematic for me. How do I stop from you just, stop you from just whatever I'm trying to say here with this? <laughs> have you gone? Is it my turn? Or no, no, I'm holding it for now. No, sorry. I was just wondering. Yeah, it's something sorry. something fair. You see, I'm touching my chin for the first time. I'm feeling a little nervous you might win. You can't see my I chin, don't. but... I don't see you, yeah. Imagine that I'm touching my chin. That's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Usually people don't imagine reality, but in this case, I'm giving you specific instructions. Wow. Wait, so you can see me the whole time, and I can't see you. Yeah, that's that's why I'm actually dominating you here. Yeah. If I do that, I will lose. Okay, so don't do that. If I walk over to C5, you just drop a piece back on C4. Yeah. Give me give me some advice here. What what should I do? You want me to give you advice? Well, yeah, you're obviously the better player, so. No. Well, I am 50/50, so maybe the more impartial player. The more uh, impartial. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what should I play here? I don't even I don't see know. how to stop you from just winning in one move. In one move? In one move. Let's see here. So, there's no wall that can go in the way. Right? No. I, I can only add walls to empty spaces. Wall, right, wall, so wall, wall. Adding a wall loses. Adding another piece loses. So you have to move over. I have to move. Oh, thank you for narrowing out my bad my bad options. No, so you have to you have to jump. Let's see here. So I'm gonna go I have to pick up my C four piece and move it to the side, I think. That's what I have to do. Mm. Good call. That's bad, though, because you'll just cover me. I don't like getting covered up by other people in most circumstances. Digitally or otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's 50-50 it's, it's whether I like that or not. <laughs> okay, so if I now add to C4, you can just cover me up. No! Hmm. Oh. Okay, okay, we're going to solve this problem once and for all. How are we going to solve it? We're going to solve it with a wall. Ding, ding, ding. You can never win now. I just have to put a wall on every square. That's 
a good move. Thank you. I thought of it myself. Crapstones can smash walls, but you can't even get close to me. Okay, so this calls for threatening to win. Are you threatening to win? No. Well, I am. My capstone will smash your wall and make a row along the two. Um, let's see here. Yeah. You in big trouble. Hmm. Wait, maybe you can't even stop me from winning. Oh, it's very, very difficult. Oh, you can drag my piece with you? No. I can just smash that. <laughs> um, I'm going to put one there, and then I'm going to smash you. That will be amusing to me. So later, I'll pick up my stuff. Um, maybe I'll smash this way, actually. You smashing me? Yeah, but which direction should I smash? You know, this is a common problem for people like me who are extremely superior in every way. It's like, Good point. Which direction should I smash is basically the question I ask most every day. Oh, I'm threatening to win. Are you? Yes, I'll just drop a, a flat on B3. Oh, what's, oh, what? I didn't mean to. Oh, no. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, Mouse undo. slip. Click the undo know. button and I'll let you make yeah, a different yeah. blunder. Let's make a different blunder. Thanks. I was in the middle of moving a plea of uh, the board. Sorry. Moving a plea? I think I hit it. I think I hit it. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. It must have been me. Must have been me. Okay. So let's see. Here. Okay. So there's uh, a threat on B3. Your last brilliancy failed to deal with that. There's a threat on B3. I can just put on B3. It makes an A3, B3, C3, C2, yeah. D2, E2 path to victory. Hmm. Got to keep you so busy that you don't use your capstone, because if you get it over to C4, I will have some problems. Okay. Yeah, that's all I could do, right? I don't know, but but what can you do now? <laughs> um, it's your turn. Oh, I'm threatening to win. You have to put a wall on, I think. Yeah. There's nothing for you here. Pick up. Smash, smash. Hey, it's wall time. Now, my next move. I really want to smash you, but my capstone's a bit far away. So if I pick up my stuff, I leave you on C2. That's very disappointing to me, but then I smash you. Then it's your turn. But I'm near to smashing some more. You know, if walls are so bad, why do I want to smash walls? They would just... <laughs> <laughs> they would no longer be walls. <laughs> What's the sense You're right. of that? <laughs> yeah, I usually am. I'm playing on A2. Okay. Probably weak. But better than month. Or fortnight. Now I'm, I'm coming for you, okay? So I come for that wall. Man. I've got to come get that wall. There's just no... If I pick up my stack, I have to cover myself on C2. Then I leave you on B2, but then I smash the wall. And then I've got a stack of... How many are in there? You're covering three, four of my pieces. On where? Sorry. A2, right? On. So once I'm on top of that, there's six pieces. That's great. Okay, I'm coming over even though it's a terrible move for me. Because I really want to have a huge stack. I'm threatening to win. Right? I pick up five, leaving a one on A2 for me. Then I leave one on B2 for me, and then I finish off with one on C2 for me and one on D2 for me. I can win right now. No matter what? Or? I don't know about no matter what. Try putting a wall on. Wall seems good. Yeah, I love having a capstone on top of a huge stack of my own pieces. Should I smash that? <laughs> well, if you smash it, you reveal me, right? Yeah, I do. Which is somewhat, somewhat disappointing. Thought okay. I have. 
We're going to drop a piece into b3. I'm threatening to win. This is starting to look good for me because you're doing a lot of moving. If you look at how many pieces I have left here at the add, like six, and you have a thousand. Oh, if you do that, I can win. Here, I'll give you a take back because I want to win a different way. Oh, I thought I was underneath. No, on I'm c2, I have a stack of two. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I think, I think chess whiz victory is coming up. You could add a wall, though. That would annoy me. Oh, what? Yeah, boy. pieces are on the Yeah, I'm mostly adding them and you're mostly moving them. That is the secret probably to my winning. I've just added one to D3 now. If we count flats though, I have five flats face up and you have four. So that's actually pretty close. Where did I just add a piece? Because I want that to be. Yeah, that's a good place to put it. Not my best move though. I think I should have smashed your wall. <laughs> yeah. What? Where did that come from? Oh, you moved a stack from D4. I don't know if that was and now are you threatening to win? No. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get this stack going here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave three of my own pieces on A2, four of my own pieces on A2. That is dumb. Okay. Never mind. That's this is just looking worse and worse the more I put there. I need to I need to smash your good. wall. You're you're not liking your position either? No, do you want to switch? No. Would that be a good variant? Did yeah, you, you can you can switch position. That'd be a good so, chess variant, right? You roll a die. I had someone propose this to me once. They're like, yeah. on move ten, you switch sides. That was his idea for a variant. So like the first ten moves, you just try to destroy your army as badly as possible. And then you switch. Uh, we didn't try it, needless to say, but it was an idea. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah, I was amused. Man, how do I cover up your stuff? I think, yeah, this is not good. We both think it's not good. What's on A3 there? A little ice cream sandwich. <laughs> it's like the game. It's well, I, This is ice cream sandwich the game, I think. It's not an ice cream sandwich because it's, isn't the ice cream the white? So it'd be like a... Green, mm. like a bread. <laughs> what's the brown? What's the brown holding called? That's the, chocolate. It's inside the sandwich. A chocolate sandwich. Yeah, nice try. Ice cream bread. I don't know where to move. This is a common problem with board games, actually. Maybe I should switch to like horse racing. It's very straightforward, no pun intended, to figure out where to move in horse racing. Right, right. Board games not so simple. Um, so I'm threatening now. No, you're threatening. This calls for a wall. No. I have to do it. I have to do Damn it. Because it. Walls just Start feel so it. powerful. It's like, oh, you think you're going to win? Boing. And That's a good point. Never win. I right? did feel like I was going to win. Yeah, and then no, a wall I'm... showed up. Of course, I can't win either because the wall doesn't participate in my own path. Right. Oh, where did just, you, where'd you play? Did, moved, you, did you play? I moved my capstone more into play. Oh, it was yeah. Just so bad out there. Your capstone <laughs> is going to really wreak havoc when it arrives a few minutes from now. Yeah. Yeah. It's so far out. Like 10. You're so far out, man. It reminds me of the hippie who was drowning. And the lifeguard right. did not save him because he was too far out, man. Um, what did you. Yeah. I dropped a piece on B5. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, way down there. Because I'm I'm confused, discombobulated, dismayed, and disoriented. And those combined to form the move D5. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So what if I pick up this stack right here, this B4 stack? Leave one there. Leave one there. That's pretty good. Oh, his capstone is on the move. Here comes his capstone. Even if I lose, I just want to crush a wall. You I crushed feel... a wall. Now I have fewer walls. That's kind of good for me, though. Yeah, probably. Man. 
I kind of want to send my send my capstone into the corner. I don't know why I would do such a crazy thing, but I kind of want to. Mm -hmm. are, are you threatening to win? I don't see it. Good. Am I? No, of course not. I'm going to send my capstone into the corner. I'm going to put all my pieces, all my pieces. Um, uh, do I really need a stack of three here? Yes. All my pieces are left on A2, and the rest, the rest are caps wow. are covering you. Okay, so I'm threatening to win right now. I could easily just drop a piece on A4. One, two, three, make a level path there from A1 to B5. Ooh. Oh, wow, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Major threats. You can't stop me, can you? How many flats do you have? You have four pieces flat face up, and I have five. So I have six. Yes, this is good. Starting to get the upper hand. So can you win by pushing that uh, A2 stack out? Let's see. There's three in it, right? There's four in it. Yeah, I can win that way too. I think you can't even stop this threat. It's the oh. unstoppable threat. It's like, I am the FBI, and I'm going to kill your family. Uh, maybe. That's exactly what I think. Yeah. Even a wall is no match for my plan, my wall-defeating plan. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? I don't know. It's still your turn, right? Yeah, so it's not really clear to me what happens since you haven't done no, anything. Wait what? wait, what? I'm clicking around. It's not my turn. Well, it's not my turn. I'm clicking around. It's not my turn. Okay. Are so you, is your capstone on B2 or A2? No. Weird. That's what it is on mine. Okay, so on the on the little dealio below all the moves on the left, click oh. the arrow arrow right to forward, fast forward yeah, to the current right, move. Right, this right. happens in chess too. You're like looking, you've rewound the game some moves. And you're like, oh, this position's not so bad, but it turns out that's not the current game state. You're just remembering the past. Oh, what just happened though? Did you really rescue yourself? Okay, that's so the you only picked way up, I could have out of it. Yeah. You picked up this entire stack on C two. C yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you left most of it on B2 and then you moved a wall over. Okay. What a move. <laughs> Man, that I, I was just ready to drink champagne, which I've never done yeah. before. <laughs> at, at a time like this. At a time like this. Great, great time for champagne, by the way. If I pick up my B4 stack, though, I can, I can do a lot. Can I win with that? Let's see. Leave one there. Leave one there. And then... I'm doing it anyway. Look at that beautiful tiling of vanilla. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is not looking good. The chocolate is no match. Well, it's a match. It's not. Inferior match. Now am I unstoppably winning? I think so, right? If you put a wall on B1, I can smash it to victory. Uh, That'd be cool. If you don't, I can just move there and win. Right, right. Um, so... Mm. You do have options. For example, you could have an abortion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I you, could do that. That's yeah. where you click the abort button, in case you're wondering. Oh, okay. Sorry. I had, for some reason, that word meant something else. Your mind went in another direction? It went. <laughs> yep. It went that's in a weird. different direction. <laughs> okay. I won't hold that against you. Okay. Thank you. So now I have four, five, six flats, and you have four. So I just need to add the rest of my pieces. I feel like that would be great. Mm -hmm. A great, great plan. Mm -hmm. Meaning large. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'll just cover your piece with my piece. It's always so fun to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I'm not threatening to win right now, but neither are you. That's a good point. Hmm. Okay, you're moving your capstone around and stacking me up at the same time. So this B2... Let me turn this around here. Y you have three of my pieces under that? 
Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. You're probably just going to move those onto something else next. Just walk around. Well, I'm going to add things while you move things. I've, I've heard that works. I'm going to add things while you move things. Okay. There's yeah, two left. Yeah. Two left for me to add, and then I'll just win on flats, as they call it. I'm counting my flats here. It's very difficult because usually I can... What? Okay, this is a stack of, what, 19? What's the, what's the limit on this? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't want to knock that thing down. I wonder if you could bump the computer and it yeah. virtually falls over. That would be amusing. Yeah, they have realistic uh, physics. It's it's half Jenga, half tack. It's called bump bump physics. I am now threatening to win, and I only have one piece left to play. So now I am truly like a train moving at the speed of light, unstoppable. Let's get a top-down view of this position here. Oh, man. Okay, how many flats? I'm just looking at the top so I can count. I have five, and you have four. So I will win on flats. No. Yes! Oh, I, miss it. I know this is bad for you, but think of it from my perspective. I'm a winner. Thought... Dang it. Yes! Thank you so much for joining, Calvin. That was so much fun yeah, and for introducing talk to our viewership. So I understand you own this game. Would you recommend people to buy it? It's a great game. Yeah, they uh, they have different versions that are pretty cheap. As you can tell, it's not too component heavy of a game. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could probably even play this. I've seen people play it with Starburst uh, online or just any block pieces. Yeah, I think uh, I have some pieces that could be used for this. And you don't even need a board because you can just like imagine where the board is until the pieces fill in. Or use it checkers or chess board. Oh, yeah. You might have to cover up part of it, though. If you know the game chess. If your fans are familiar with chess. Yeah, I haven't haven't heard of that. I'll, I'll try that sometime on the show. Cool. Yeah. And for those of you who want to play the online version, this is at playtalk.com. That's play, T-A-K, dot com. Although, although it says there are 11 players online, they are all bots right now. So you might, might end up playing with a bot or arrange with your best friend to meet on this site. That's what I did. Hey. It worked. Any last Good. words? No, thanks for playing. That was Th a great game. All right. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us. I will see you next time. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.